So a lot of you guys have been asking, Kev, where has a Traxxas Rustler 4x4 been hiding? So it's actually been chilling up there for the past few months. Reason being, it's got a couple of issues that make it not quite as good as it could be. The main one being the plastic drive shafts. Almost every time I take it out, these drive shafts break. I've already upgraded the, the rear ones to these Banggood special ones. I'm gonna put a link to these down below. But here, I've got another set of Banggood special metal drive shafts, a different design. So I'm gonna put a set of these on the front. Uh, we're probably gonna put the rear ones on as well at some point. We're gonna see first how the front ones do. Waffle, waffle, waffle. Also, the servo in this is a little bit weak. I recently, well, last time I used it, I put in a JX servo, it's a dirt cheap one, and it hasn't really got much power, it's a little bit lame. So I've got a different JX servo here, this one's an EcoBoost, it's probably a little bit overkill. This one's got about 36 kilos of torque, it's high voltage, all metal geared, metal case. If you want to know all the techno babble, I'm going to put a link to all the specifications down below. All oh, right, so we're going to fit all this stuff to the car and then we're going to take it out, give it a blast and see how durable and good this new stuff is. So guys, I would say these are the biggest letdown on these Rustler 4x4s. The whole rest of the car takes such a beating. It's so fast and so tough. It's just these so badly let it down. So hopefully these ones here from Banggood are going to be a nice cheap alternative. So we're going to figure out if they're going to be actually worth buying or not. So the front and the rear shafts are actually different. So you've got to make sure that you pick the right ones. Boom, all fitted and that went on super easy. Yes. So next we've got to fit the servo arm back on, but we've got to first make sure that the servo is centered. So we've got to turn on the radio, plug in the battery, turn it on, center the trim. And then if I do any screws up with the electric screwdriver, I only do it most of the way. Then the last little bit, I'll do it by hand. Because if you do it all the way with the electric screwdriver, you run a big risk of stripping out your screws. <laughs> Oh, another thing I just noticed is that the thread on the end of these newer shafts are a lot bigger than the thread on the old shaft, which is good because I've actually broken a couple of these before. So hopefully these are going to last a lot longer. Oh no, guys. No idea what happened, so we're gonna quickly whip it out and take a look. I can see what's happened, guys. Really bad design. So this here is a little D-shape, and it's got a D-shaped hole in there as well. But look what's happened. I can just spin that inside there. That D-shape in there has in fact gone round. Even when I shove that all the way in there, look, I can still turn it. So either it was made wrong, or it's just a shoddy design and it failed early on. I'm gonna put a plastic one back on and then we're gonna go bash. Boom, plastic one back in. I'm gonna leave this side metal. We're gonna take it out, give it a blast, see if it lasts, and maybe that was an unlucky one, or maybe it's just a shoddy design. We will find out. But anyway, we're gonna get to try out the servo. The servo feels absolutely epic. A lot of control, a lot of speed. It just feels a lot more dialed in than what it was before. All right, I've really waffled myself out now. Let's go and play. Here we are on location. As usual, it is completely zombified over there. Anywho, we have BMX track here, so it's all good. Steven's got his granite over there. Steven's on 4S. 
on the granite, we're on 3S on the rustler. Go! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Should we go to the moon? Oh, what a hit! Yeah, but it didn't explode. Oh! oh. <laughs> that nearly went in my face and the GoPro caught it. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh man, they're chucking up rocks. <laughs> it's like frozen. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh. I'm not self writing it, I'll break a dry truck. Oh! oh. Oh! How do I go by now? Hey! Thanks, Tiny! What is down here? Well, this doesn't look like much down here. Still in there, Alright, well, there's nothing down here to play on then. You could sit there and then yeah. plop in there. Oh! Are there brickies in there? Uh oh, steering's gone weak. What? Servo server? I don't know, there's a brand new servo in there and it's gone weak. That's a JX Eco boost. 36 kilo. I only put it in yesterday. There's something in there. We've got something stuck. There is a screw. Is that a turd stuck to the back, bottom of the tyre? But it doesn't taste like one. Uh oh, <laughs> no one you did. Oh no, I lost that. Where's it gone? gone. Oh. oh, guys, it was a TSM. For some reason, if the TSM's not properly calibrated, it does funny things to the steering. So we turned it off, and now look. Back in action. Oh, <laughs> reverse phone. Reverse donut coming up! As, as long as you've got a, a decent sort of amount of speed in reverse. Reverse it... donut loading! Oh, yeah. that's just where we died. Oh, oh no, don't tell me that new shaft's died. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I nearly got Stephen! Oh, it dug a hole. Oh, yeah, that's not supposed to be there. There ish, but a bit more in there. Oh, two wheel drivers got no grip. All right, game over. You ever seen a granny drift? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> that went. Meow. Yours was better. What happened? What are you laughing at? It's gone next door, it's gone forever. <laughs> oh, what happened? Luckily it's on wheels. Oh, we're lucky. We're lucky it still moves. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Footage. Oh, oh, that sounds nasty. There's people with that noise. Huh? The only trigger is more people with that noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder what's gone. Might be front diff or something.
Oh, I went back for it. Found a problem. If you look in there, look, guys, a bit difficult to see, but the bulkhead has broke. Oh, look, hello, diff. You can see that in there. It's a new bulkhead. Maybe the diff's all right. I, I was crunching it for a while. Sorry to you headphone users. So um, I'm probably going to buy a new diff too. So we're going to get this car back in action very soon. But overall, servo that we put in there feels much, much better. The car's much more controllable. Uh, drive shaft wise, um, I'm going to put a link to these drive shafts down below. These are bang good ones. These are actually very good, uh, but they only make them for the rear. So I'm going to put a link to those down below. The other drive shafts, I'm not even going to bother linking to them. So,